I'm Katie Gimbar, and I'm answering questions about my flipped classroom. This question comes from Jesse in North Carolina. With all of this group work, how do you manage disruptive students? I can personally speak to this, teaching middle schoolers. There are days when some of them are very rambunctious. Um, for the majority of the time, the students really are engaged in what's going on in the classroom. They're able to work in groups, and they enjoy that. So they want to be a part of class because it's more social, it's more collaborative. So it's not as big of a problem, but of course, there are some students that can be disruptive to their learning and the learning of others. And so I follow the protocol within my school. I give them a warning, can give them silent lunch, and then eventually we work our way up to referrals to the administrators, where they may have to serve time in in-school suspension, or what we call ALC, the Alternative Learning Center. When students are sent to ALC, they're still required to go through their work. There's a teacher in that room responsible for facilitating the learning. And what I found when talking with this ALC teacher is that my students excel within this classroom. He says it's so great when your students come in here because I know exactly what they're supposed to do. So do they. They come in and they're like, oh, I've, I need to watch this video and then, and then I do this. They start usually on my work first because they know what they're expected to do. And I'm thinking, why can't that student just do that within the classroom? But of course, day to day, some students are going to struggle within the social setting of a big class environment. But the beauty of this is they can learn the skills they need to be successful within that social environment. In the ALC room, they can sit down and talk with a student about what went wrong, what behaviors do we need to learn to manage so that you can get back into the regular classroom. And so it's vital for these students to not miss any of that information. Prior to flipping the classroom, the teacher was solely responsible for, if you send this kid out, you're going to have to find time to still get them the information. So it was sometimes more of a struggle to isolate this kid outside of the classroom, even though he, was, he or she was disruptive to the class. Now that's really changed. With the video lectures, they're not going to miss that instruction, which is crucial for the students. The other you know, method I have often used in my classroom, if there's a group of disruptive learners, I've actually put them together, where the other students are able to go ahead and keep working on the material. And I can focus in on that group of students, working with them not only on the content, but also spending some time helping them to manage behaviors and talking with them about what needs to be done to be successful within the classroom. To learn more about flipping the classroom, visit the Friday Institute's website.